Peace y'all, I am ICC and today I am comparing Anycast versus Mirror Screen. So after owning both of these devices for a while, I have decided to record my thoughts. These are HDMI Wi-Fi dongles or wireless display receivers. However you want to put it, these let you view video on a big screen TV or any other device that has HDMI input. They are comparable to something like Chromecast. They both work with iOS devices including iPhones, iPads, as well as Android phones and tablets. AirPlay and Miracast modes are available and you must have a Wi-Fi network to connect to. The devices take advantage of Wi-Fi to display on the TV. I do recommend a firmware update and make sure your power supply is 5 volts and 1 amp. If it's underpowered, the devices will suffer performance issues and if it's overpowered, you risk frying the devices. It's not very difficult to set up once you understand how. It may seem confusing at first, but I have completed the tutorial if you need. Just look under my other videos. Now let's compare them. The first thing we have is the boxes and the packaging. They are basically the same, however I would say I do prefer the way the Anycast device is packaged because it is easily accessible. It has a door right here on the front of the package that is held shut by some velcro. The mirror screen doesn't have the door, you have to pull it out of the box. This isn't a big deal, but I do like the Anycast box more. When we actually compare the physical devices, they are almost exactly the same. They are shaped the same and have the same button as well as the same micro USB port. They also come with the same micro USB cable that splits into the receiver. Now I want to open them up and compare the insides. First I will open the mirror screen and the first thing I see AM8252B processor chip. It runs at 600 megahertz. When we take a look inside the Anycast, the first thing I see again is the processor. It's similar to the one in the mirror screen, but the model number is AM8258B. It's a single core CPU that runs at 1.2 gigahertz, twice the speed of the mirror screen. When we look at the stats next to each other, besides the CPU that we just talked about, the Anycast has twice as much RAM and can handle double the frames per second at 60 FPS, rather than 30. However, the mirror screen does have more than double the Wi-Fi speed at 450 megabytes per second. They each have a mix of brands and the builds themselves are also comparable. You could actually switch the cases, the boards are swappable. This shows just how close the builds really are. The last thing there is, the firmware. The setup is the same and once you get in the settings you will notice they are nearly the same as well. There are different options for you to set, but it will now come down to the performance. The image that appears on the TV will not be instantaneous, so playing games that require precise button presses will not work very well. If you are playing a game like chess, however, then it's perfect. Videos play fine and are watchable, but I have found that if you do not have a strong enough power supply, the device will suffer from lag and it will cut out every now and then. If you are experiencing choppy play, make sure your power supply is up to par. The devices have HDCP, so don't expect to capture Netflix or anything like that. There are ways to strip HDCP, but I am not sure they will work for this or not. So to sum it up, in my opinion, I would probably go with the Anycast M2 Plus on this one, because it has double the speed on the CPU and double the speed on the RAM. So there you have it, I'm ICC, thanks for watching y'all, peace.